Hello, I'm Doug Briel Petorik, civic reporter with Cleveland Documenters, and I'm here to help you get started using Cleveland's Online Public Records Center. Uh, to access the center, you can go to a bit.ly link that we created. Uh, just type into your phone browser bit.ly slash Pub Records. And that should take you right to it. The first thing you'll need to do then is create an account. And the button's a little bit hidden on the website, but you can get there in two taps. Uh, so select My Record Center. Scroll down to Edit Customer Account Information. Scroll down a little bit more, and you'll see Create Account. Tap that, and here you can create your account with an email, your password, and your first and last name. Fill out that form and submit, and then although the page won't change, you'll be logged in after that, and you should get an email confirming your new account. And now the fun can start. From the top menu, Select Submit a Request. You can choose Public Safety Records if you want a record from that department. Or you could choose City Government Records for records from all other city departments. We'll select City Government Records because we want to request uh, the Cleveland's 2020 payroll. And that will include how much money city employees made that year. First thing you'll have to do is choose the department. Uh, you'll use that drop down to choose the specific area you want a record from. And if you don't know, you can scroll all the way to the bottom of that list and choose not sure, unknown, or multiple departments. Payroll records are available from the Human Resources Department, so we will select that. And for type of record, we'll choose all other human resources requests. Now I'm going to switch over to a completed form to save a little bit of time. You'll have to describe the request, and you'll see that our description is as specific as possible, including not only the record itself, but some things that we would like to see in that record. Your request doesn't have to be that specific, but the more specific you can be, the better your odds are of receiving the record. You'll then have to uh, mark the re request purpose. And if these top three don't fit and you consider yourself a curious citizen, you can select other. When you're filling out a request, you'll also see this specific information section. If you have any of this specific information about your record, go ahead and enter it in the appropriate box. Uh, none of it's required to make a request, but it can be helpful if you have it on hand. And the second last required piece of this form is the alternate delivery method. You can leave the alternate delivery method set to no alternate method. And that way, you'll receive a digital copy of the record right here in the Public Records Center. Then you just type in the security code. And submit. You'll get an email confirming your request, and you'll also get another email when the city responds. And you can also track and track your request and download your records right here in the record center. Uh, you can go to the top menu and select my record center. And view my requests. And that is pretty much it. Happy requesting.